Hello developers, in this video, we are taking a look at three popular platforms for data structures and algorithms. Algo Expert, LeetCode, and HackerRank. We're gonna take a look at the UX UI, we're gonna explore what the heck they even are, and if they're worth it for you in 2021 going into 2022. So let's pop it off. All three of these platforms, algoexpert.io, leetcode.com, and hackerrank.com, these are all designed around the idea of helping you pass the technical interview when it comes to these FANG level companies. These Silicon Valley level companies where they are throwing these, dare I say it, trivia questions at you. Highly technical trivia questions, mind you, but technical trivia questions. You need to know how to solve them because they're not really the easiest things to solve. These three platforms do have a lot of similarities. They do have their differences though. Let's start off with Algo Expert. This is a platform that has exploded in popularity in the last few years. In addition to the questions, there are 100 hours of video explanations, a crash course in data structures, and a ton of other stuff here for curated assessments, a certificate of completion, and even mock coding interviews. There are solutions in nine languages. Now with these platforms, this is kind of a nice thing when you compare these applications to a book like Cracking the Coding Interview, which is a great book for fang prep, but it's written in Java. But with these platforms, they're a lot more flexible. For example, on Algo Expert, you have JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Swift, Kotlin, C++, Java, C Sharp, and Go. And as we get into these other platforms, you'll see that the languages are pretty flexible there as well. So let's explore these questions. At one time, I did have a subscription to this service. As you can see, this green button means I tried this problem and I passed it. This is a nice little feature here where you can just quickly see a snapshot of the problems you've solved or maybe not solved because as you can see down here, my other efforts were not so fruitful. Let's go into the easy section. And as you see, the columns have easy, medium, hard, or very hard. Let's go ahead into validate subsequence. Of all three of these platforms, I think this is Algo Expert's biggest draw. This four pane workspace, and you can actually go to three if you like the try, but I like the quad. It is so rich in features. Up top here, we have different layout options. You can select your programming language. I've selected JavaScript, your font size, editor key maps, even for my Vim people out there, light and dark theme, and then syntax highlighting theme. Here's the question right here, the prompt, and then we have more tabs to see various things, watch a video solution. This is another thing that sets Algo Expert apart from LeetCode and HackerRank. Algo Expert has video solutions, which is really helpful if you're a visual learner. And then down here, you can run tests. There's a sandbox. The one thing you'll notice though, is that there are only, and I'm using air quotes, 160 questions. Whereas with LeetCode and HackerRank, these guys have a thousand questions or more. It is quite a huge array, if you will. The final thing to point out about Algo Expert is that Algo Expert is one product under the umbrella of algoexpert.io. So if I go to buy Algo Expert, you can see there's two other products, ML Expert for my machine learners out there and Systems Expert. I did a whole video review on Systems Expert. If you wanna check that out, it's popping out on your screen. So each one of these products is $99. Right now it's 74. There's a bundle discount if you decide to go with more than one product but that is the price with that and it's one year access. I also have a coupon code. If you're interested in signing up for Algo Expert, check the description box. Now let's check out LeetCode. It's a little bulkier when it comes to navigation. In my experience, you might find it different, but just exploring and getting the navigation down took me a little more effort than Algo Expert. But let's go to the problems and you can kind of see the layout for these. Now remember, these are problems that are asked in technical interviews at FANG level companies. These are not problems you're gonna be solving on a day-to-day -day basis at your typical dev job. And I need to stress that because on this channel, we do talk a lot about code newbies and getting into the industry. They're gonna help you pass a technical interview at a FANG level company. So it's a very specific type of engineer who will benefit from these problems. That is my disclaimer for this video. So right here, we have the categories. You can sort here, you can sort here, array, string, hash table, dynamic programming. Let's just go all out. Let's click math 
and see what problems pop up. So basically there's like two tier access here. I'm on the free tier and as you can see, they want me to subscribe to see which companies asked these math questions. And this is the big benefit. I think this is the biggest draw of Leak Code is that they tell you which specific companies are asking the questions. Number nine, palindrome number, a 52% acceptance rate and it's rated as easy. So we'll click in here and then you can see the editor. This editor, I mean, it works just fine, but compared to Algo Expert, eh, it just, you know, once you ride in a Cadillac, there's no going back. Compared to Algo Expert, there is a lot bigger emphasis on community and that social aspect. What I mean by that is we have thumbs up, thumbs down. Lots of people didn't like this question. Those types of things are pretty much sprinkled throughout the site. Uh, every problem has this area and this area. But here is your problem. Given an integer X, return true if X is palindrome integer. And then it defines palindrome. Here are some example cases. Here are your constraints. And then a follow-up question as well as some more social analytics information. How many answers were submitted and then how many solutions were accepted? There's also an area for you to say if you've seen this at a real interview before or not and some hints as well. And that's basically the same layout for all of these problems. No matter how you've sorted them, you can filter by difficulty. Um, here's another premium feature, the frequency of problems that appear in real interviews. If you just want to hone in on the Google problems, the Apple problems, etc. So the other thing with Leak Code is that interviewers can actually assess you right here on this site. Leak Code Online Interview, we need your permission, blah, blah, blah. They can access my info and then your interviewer's name. And then they bring you to an, an online playground where the interview interviewer can ask you various questions. So in this part, this is a two part area on this interview tab. This is the mock assessment area where you can get, as the name implies, mock assessed. So here's a random question from a real company. And this is, again, this is, I think, one of the strongest pieces of Leak Code where it's real world stuff. These are questions that were actually asked even relatively recently. So right here, Google online assessment, the phone interview, the on-site interview, these fangs conduct different types of interviews on different platforms and different mediums. So same thing with Facebook, online phone and on-site. And again, you can see uh, the success rate of these submissions and the number of attempts by various engineers. This Facebook online assessment has been attempted 75,000 times and similar stats, if not more staggering uh, for these other fan companies, Amazon attempted online assessment over 100,000 times with a 41% success rate. The thing about Lead Code too is that it is more competitive because you can see how your peers are performing even in the most primitive of ways. Okay, did they pass? 60% did. That's a pretty significant data point. And again, all of these are on the premium tier. So if you're on my tier, the peanut gallery tier, you can only admire those and can't actually access them. Uh, but as you can see here, there are plenty of questions that you can access on the free tier. They even have shell and database problems, which is kind of taking it a step above your typical data structures and algorithms. Uh, if we go to 182, duplicate emails, it's a 66%, 66.8% acceptance rate, and it's deemed an easy problem. SQL schema, write a SQL query to find all duplicate emails in a table named person. And then just like in our math problem we looked at a moment ago, you write your solution here. And note too, you don't have to use MySQL. You can use MS SQL Server or Oracle, which is, in my opinion, a really nice touch. And let's go back to that math problem because I really didn't talk about the languages that Leak Code accepts. Which one did we even look at? It was a palindrome, right? Was it this one? Probably not. This is a different palindrome problem, but right now I had it selected for Python 3 for the language, as you can see here. But if I go up here, I have a choice, C++, Java, Python, Ruby. Looks like a few more languages than Algo Expert, not many. Uh, but a little bit larger selection, Racket, PHP, Nice, Scala, Go, Swift, Ruby, C even, Elixir, Erlang. So some non-traditional languages, non-traditional, I mean, not Java, not Python, not JavaScript. So that's a nice touch. Going back to the premium price, 
$159 a year, $35 a month. Uh, but you can get plenty done on just the free tier. So worth exploring for sure. Finally, Hacker Rank. Now, Hacker Rank is totally free. And just like Lead Code, just like Algo Expert, it's designed to help you pass the technical interview, connect you even with tech companies. As you can see right here, there is an advertisement for a career fair. 2021 Fall Career Fair, two-day online event. You can discover jobs, earn certs, and compete in coding contests. So they're really focused on connecting you with employers while giving you these problems that you can work on to pass that tech interview. So this leads me right to my dashboard here. I don't know why they're telling me to get certified in Angular. I have no interest in that framework, but okay, that's okay. We also have some tutorials, 10 days of JavaScript. Hacker Rank and Lead Code, they do have a lot of overlapping themes. As far as user experience goes, I, they are really similar. The workspace for Hacker Rank is very similar to Lead Code. So let's go ahead and go into one of the problems in Hacker Rank. So if I go to the SQL portion here, revising the select query, query the data for all American cities with populations larger than 100,000. Okay, so here is our city table. Here's our current buffer. You can upload the file. You can run your code here, submit the code. For my database people, this is a pretty straightforward basic question. As they say right here, difficulty easy. Same type of concept here as lead code. Hacker rank, just like lead code, focused on that social component, focused on that competitive component. So you can see who's ranking, where they're from, and what their score is. There's also a discussion area and editorial, which again, Hacker Rank is totally free. So don't be afraid with this lock. You can just unlock it. And if I unlock it, my score will not be counted towards my progress. So I'm not getting any points. That's okay. I don't need to rank. Here is the solution. Honestly, from the people I've talked with over the past couple years, the research I've done, people seem to enjoy the community a little bit more at LeetCode. LeetCode does seem to have more diehard people on the platform, but from what I've gone through and explored on HackerRank, this is a pretty decent platform as well if you're trying to pass a technical interview. Get node value. This is also an easy problem. Same type of layout here. And as far as languages go, Hacker Rank has the most diverse selection of languages. As you see, C, Clojure, C++, C++ 14, C++ 20, Haskell, Java 15, Node.js, Objective-C, Perl, Kotlin, Lua. Nice diverse list there when it comes to solving these problems. Back at that SQL problem, I'm curious what other selections I have, what other options I have, MySQL, DB2, Oracle, and MS SQL Server. So one more option uh, when compared to the lead code database problems. I do like HackerRank's UX UI a little bit better compared to lead code. And also I do like the language diversity a little better. As far as actual technical problems, uh, I think LeetCode takes the cake there because they bunch them based on the actual company. And I'm all about that practical application. Heck yeah, LeetCode smokes them. But HackerRank is totally free and not a bad option either. All in all, all three of these, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them if you're trying to hone your skills for passing that technical interview. A lot of people have been saying technical interviews are broken. I agree with that. I think they're techno hazing rituals, but all in all, like I said, you can't go wrong with any of these. If you do decide to sign up for Algo Expert, save yourself some money. I have a promo code in the description box. Check it out, use it, don't pay full price. Lead Code has a great free tier, Hacker Rank also. And I mean, to some extent, Algo Expert has a free tier too. They have four free questions, so you can check those out as well. I couldn't touch upon every difference between these three, but if you want an even deeper in-depth look at these platforms compared, check out the article we wrote on realtoughcanny.com about the differences and similarities between these platforms and who might be best suited for each of these. Be sure to subscribe for more videos as always. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.